Hey, what's going on YouTube, the Beardy Baron, and in today's video, it's been highly requested that we help you to identify the ghost. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to take you to three different maps with one goal in mind, and that is purely just to find the ghost room. So we're going to start off on a small map, move to a medium-sized map, and then lastly, we're going to head to a large map to help you to use the tips to be able to find the ghost room as fast as possible. If you like this video, please give it a like, share it with a friend, and if you're new here, please consider subscribing. And without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, so the first things first, right, with any of these kind of things, having a good pair of headsets is going to go a long way for you. All right, we are going to just, we're going to find this ghost as quickly as possible. I use, on the small maps, most maps I like to use an EMF reader and a flashlight and a camera. That's what I bring in. That's my bread and butter for when I bring in stuff starting off. Um, but we're going to go in and we're just going to listen. Right? That right there tells me it's it, it's right here in the shower. Right? There you go. Just like that. Seems like that, that's a bit crazy. We'll do it again. Right? The ghost starts to interact with its environment as soon as you go into the as soon as you go into the map. Right? So we'll choose another small map here. We'll go to Edgefield. So Baron wears our cult robes. There's no cult robes. There's hoodies. There's hoodies. You know? Okay, same thing, right? Different location. Just listen. Okay, it hissed at us. That's an EMF four. That doesn't that that'll pop up regardless. Right? Another thing that you can do is right, we'll we'll turn on the power so that way it's easier for us to be able to see, but you can shut all these uh shut all the doors that you interact with. Right? We got a three over here. An EMF three. So did it throw something over here? All right, or, or was it in the kitchen? Might have been in the kitchen. Oh, we had a door touch. Right? Door touch. So then it's here in the kitchen. Right? Even without an EMF, even without an EMF 3, let's say that we went, let's say that we went with a, an EMF 1 or a uh, um uh, an EMF reader, right? A tier 1. No, nope, that's a tier 1 dots. I am insane. Tier 1 dots suck. Let's go with a tier one EMF reader, right? Same thing. We'll go to we'll go to with a larger map this time, right? I'll do uh, Bleasdale Farmhouse, right? That's a bit of a larger. That's the largest small map that's out there. So it's the same thing. Uh, let's take that. Take that. I don't even know why that I'm taking the camera because I'm not staying in the games long enough. But we're just gonna go in with the EMF reader. And the flashlight here, right? The f opening up the front door, ha that's when the ghost starts interacting with its environment. It won't start interacting with it until then. Now, you could use a cursed object to help you to identify the room. <coughs> Honestly, I think it's in this room. Right? I've got freezing in this room. That's another new thing that's kind of come out here as of recently. Is that the ghost room appears to be in the same room. Uh, like you'll see your breath in the room that the ghost is in. So like if I stand in this room, we might just have freezing everywhere. So I think that in that case, you know, we might. So if you have freezing breath, another thing that you can do is, is go over, turn on the power. So that way it starts to warm up the rest of the house. You'll still have freezing breath in the ghost room though. All right, let's keep moving here. Mistress, mistress. Dyna uh, Dynamon? Thank you for that follow. Welcome, man. All right, let's see. Here we go. All right? Same thing. We're going to shut the doors. All right? We're going to let this... We're going to look for anything that's that's knocked over. All right? Any Anything that's knocked over at all. Anything out of place. Right, knowing the layouts of the maps, like these these bottles and stuff like that, can be on the floor sometimes. 
Uh, the toilet paper and stuff can be on the floor sometimes. That, that's never on the door, you know, never on the floor. Shoes will be in different places. All the shoes are always going to be next to each other, right? The blocks are always going to be next to one another. So noticing stuff that's out of place will help you to identify the ghost room faster. Right? I'm getting the EMF. We got dirty water over here. So the ghosts see, like I said, we got toilet paper on the floor, right? We got dirty water. We got the EMF reader on it. So then I would say that this is the room. And that's how I would do this one. Yeah, and sometimes the cock will flop over. This is true. Welcome back. Uh, so then if we go up to a larger map, let's say like prison. Right? I'm surprised I didn't hear the water, to be honest. But it maybe it turned it on and then turned it right back off. <clears throat> that's very possible as well. All right, I'm going to bring EMF reader, but on this one, I'm also going to bring in the, the parabolic mic. I love the parabolic mic for the larger uh, for the larger maps. I don't recommend the, the parabolic mic as tier one. Let's see. Yeah, I'm playing the game more. You'll definitely get better at it, too. Oh, love, thank you for the rose. I appreciate that. All right, we got the... So now what we do is same thing, right? We'll start walking around. Start pointing the parabolic mic. See if we can get... See if we can hear. There we go. I'm hearing water. I also hear the ghost interaction. So that tells me that it's down here over on this side. Just turned on another faucet. It's definitely over here in the shower area. All right, parabolic mic did a great job for as far as figuring it out. Da, da, da. Right? Even on the largest of maps, Parabolic Mike still helps you out. Still going to do really, really well. Alright, we'll go to, uh, we'll go to Sunny Meadows. <sighs> Drago Games, thank you for that follow. Welcome in. Yeah, the Parabolic Mike, the Parabolic Mike, ever since they made a change, so it used to be the Parabolic Mike took two seconds to see if there was any activity. It was like, it was, it was like a, a, a pulsing action of like two seconds and it would go, you know, two seconds on, check, the equipment. check, two seconds, check, two seconds, check, two seconds, check. And it sucked, right? Because you'd have to actually sit there and look at each room for like, and hold it for two seconds. And then move to the next room, hold it for two seconds. And then they changed it around to one second a long time ago. And when they did that, it made it a thousand times easier um, to be able to walk up and down and be able to find stuff. It's a find unknown. Yo, yo, what's up? What's up, Chaco? Right? Wow, look at that. Got the bone in here, too. It's kind of lucky. Now, some of the stuff in the new Sunny Meadows, some of the stuff in here is purely, um, is like ambient noise. So that's something you have to kind of figure out as well, is like what's ambient noise and what's not ambient noise on this map like that right there is ambient noise you're gonna hear that every single time regardless if the ghost is down this hallway or not you'll hear like a woman screaming in the background right that kind of stuff what you are listening for for the ghost is you're listening for like whispering talking of any kind a banshee whale um throwing of an object right is another big one Saving up for a PC. Let's go, Drago. I am doing great. I'm just showing, we're just showcasing for folks on how to find Ghost Room pretty quickly on a map. Now, once you get much more comfortable with cursed objects, that's going to be arguably the fastest way of being able to find it. Right? Like, for me, I would probably pick up the, the I would probably pick up the voodoo doll and I would, and I would run it uh, into each hallway and I would pull a pin and see if I could hear the ghost. That's what I would do. Right. But if you're not comfortable with doing that, this is definitely just as good of a way of doing it. Right. I'm scanning each room here. 
trying to see if we get anything. Now, this one, the morgue will always throw you off on this room. And I'll show you why. It's because at least with the last one, I don't know if it does it anymore. But it used to pick up the flies. I don't know if it still does. But <coughs> who is the voodoo? Who do you do? Seeing ambient noise again. Right? Just like those like little dings like that. It doesn't that doesn't mean anything. I missed it. Sunny Meadows will be one year old as of tomorrow. Oh my gosh. Right? Another thing that you can do is just shut the doors. Shut the doors behind you. Right? That way, even if, for instance, even if you, you we don't get lucky enough and we don't pick it up with a parabolic mic, if the ghost is in one of these rooms that has a door and it opens up the door, then you'll know that, hey, okay, it's in that area. And it'll help you to narrow it down. Right? So any of these that are open, just close them. This map still kind of feels new. It's because most people don't play it. That's why. No, there's a dinging I was heard, hearing over there. What, babe? What? How do you remove your background? Chroma key. I'd look it up. Chroma key. Oh, yeah. I've got a green screen. Right. Checking these back rooms as well. Seeing if we hear anything. Nothing. I'm a certified Tanglewood enjoyer. Some people are, and there's nothing wrong with that. Okay, so based off of this time, right? So we got really unlucky, and the parabolic mic didn't help us out. Didn't hear anything. Right? Totally fine. What I would still do is as I would come down here, and I would start the process over. Right? And I would take a look. Okay, has any has any of these doors been touched since I've been here? That's ambient noise. That doesn't mean anything. Right? I didn't close up this door before. Yes, Phasmo. What's up, Nathan? Yeah, I like the tier three dots. I would like it better if I could adjust, if I could stop it from moving. If I wanted to. Right here. See that door? See this door is open? Let's see if we get freezing breath in here. Get freezing breath in here. Did I just not touch this door? Maybe it's in this one. Maybe you just touch the adjacent door. Let's see. Anything? No. Did I? I maybe I missed that door. I don't feel like I did, but maybe I did. <clears throat> All right, let's keep going. Jurador. But see, so this is sometimes, right, even for me, even with, with, you know, thousands of hours in Phasmophobia, right, I still run into, sometimes I still run into issues. Now, the Tier 3 Parabolic Mic definitely does make things a lot easier for as far as being able to see, like, what is ambient noise and, like, what might be something else. But... You know, these, these methods, still tried and true. Another option that you could go with is uh, sound sensors on larger maps. Try to see if the try to see if the ghost is, is there, you know.
feel like that was open. It looked like it was open. Gavin, short 90 hours. Zombie on sphere therapy? I, I didn't even know. Oh. I think I heard something. I think I was moving around over there. This ghost just... There it is. There it... Right? That looks all fine. Uh, that's okay. Is it this one? It's one of these rooms. Yep, it's one of these rooms. Yep, right here. This is it. So there you go. So like I said, you know, it, it takes some practice, even on the largest of maps. Sometimes you get easy with it. Sometimes you don't. Um, you know, and it just takes some practice. Going through there, tried and true methods is, you know, parabolic mic, sound sensors on large maps, small maps, bring in an EMF reader just to confirm, like, hey, okay, I heard something. You know, it touched the door, it touched the window, something like that. And that way you can confirm, yep, okay, it was actually that map. Um, shut all doors behind you as you're going through the house. That way, even if you don't hear anything on your first pass, hopefully by the, hopefully by that point in time, the ghost will have at least touch the door or it will tap it on a window or something like that, and that can help you to narrow down where the ghost room is. But like I said, hopefully you guys found this video informative, uh, and if you did, please give it a like, share it with a friend, and if you're new here, please consider subscribing, or even if you're not here here and you haven't yet subscribed, please subscribe. But uh, the guys, I appreciate you all. You are loved. You are valued. And I'll see you next time.